The Judicial and Bar Council has yet to finalize its guidelines for the live media coverage of its interviews with the Chief Justice nominees. Andrew Alimario has that story. Members of the JBC met in an executive session today to draft the guidelines for the live media coverage of the public interviews of the Chief Justice nominees. JBC Academy member Jose Mejia says there is an informal agreement not to press networks to cover all nominees. Mejia agrees that it will be an operational nightmare to compel all media networks to cover all the interviews of the nominees. Ang bottom line is this orderliness lang. I mean, if it will take uh, several cameras, we, we have not really uh, made that definitive, kung isa lang. Senator Francis Escudero is happy with their initial draft, saying the guidelines will result to an open yet orderly proceedings. Escudero says accredited media from the Supreme Court and the Department of Justice will be allowed to cover the proceedings. Both Escudero and Representative Neil Tupas Jr. are both in favor of allowing media to cover the actual voting for the JBC shortlist. Because it's transparent. Uh, some, there, there are clamors nga, there are clamors na bakit JBC? E yung JBC parang it's, ano eh, diba? it's not transparent. So to make it transparent, kailangan the entire proceedings, including the voting. Including the voting. So we'll push for that. The number of JBC members will remain at eight. Those who have questions about it, Escudero says, should go to the Supreme Court. The Senate and House rules, that is part of our job as the respective chairpersons of the committees on justice in both houses, until and unless enjoined and restrained, um, baka naman tawagi abandonment yung aming ginagawa. Um, sa akin, ano man ang maging decision ng korte tungkol dito, tatanggapin ko, at least menos trabaho pa sa parte ko kung sakasakali. Meantime, Justice Secretary De Lima, another JBC ex officio member and nominee for the CJ Post, inhibited from the discussion when it concerned the Chief Magistrate position. Escudero adds, even Acting Chief Justice Antonio Carpio, Associate Justices Presbytero Velasco and Teresita de Castro, also inhibited as they are all recommended to replace ousted Chief Justice Renato Corona. He says that as of today, the number of nominees for the CJ Post increased to 65. Where there are two applicants, 13 have already accepted their nominations and 11 have declined. Anjali Mario, Solar News.